All right, I'm going to do a video here on how to grease your sheave and which grease. All right, you got your Ultramatic, which comes in a little bucket, and then you got your Polyuri, and that comes in a tube. This one had a hole in it, so I cut a hole in the end of it. All right, the Poly goes in the center of the primary. You want to make sure you feel that groove in there all the way full. Once you can see it's full, then use your collar to push out the excess. That's the center of the sheave. Then you'll use the same grease in the secondary. You fill up the groove in it. If you use the Ultramatic in either of these two places, after about a thousand miles, it'll get runny. Start seeping out on the belt. It's better than what the manual calls for, though. It calls for Ultramatic or uh, Bell Ray Assembly Lube, and it don't work at all. Putting a little bit by the seal so the seal's not dry. Alright, then you'll slide your two halves together. Four pins. Take your extra grease, fill up those pin holes. Cut back on. Put just a little bit of. I put new O-rings and seals on this one because it was leaking, and I had 3,000 miles. Cut back on there. Make sure the spring turns freely on both. not then grind around the outside edge until it does turn freely. After you check your spring and you make sure it fits good and if not you've done your grinding then this is where your two anti-friction washers go right there on the bottom and then your spring will go on then your washer and uh, you'll have to compress it to get that on. Use Ultramatic marble on the bottom of it there and stick it down in there. And the proper way to set an overdrive weight in long side towards the center of the shaft. So that's the long side up towards the center. Short side here, two little lines closest to the center.
Once you got all them in there, go ahead and put you a little bit more on top of them there. And then same way for the where the cam plate goes, you want to make sure that there's plenty right on the side. Each one of those so the cam plate don't get dry. And you can put you just a little bit on top of the sliders too, it don't have to be much. There you go. That's how to grease your hot rod sheath. Thanks.